What are these boys up to? Having drinks. Uh, I think one of them might be about to get married. Bachelor party. Mm. Yeah, we would say stag do. Stag do? What is stag do and where does it even come from? Stag do. Do you say like, I'm going on my stag do or this is this is a stag do? I don't even know how to use that word. Something like that, I hope. I'm sorry. I'm American. Um Hello, welcome back. Today, we're going to look at the differences and how we say things between the US and, you know, American versus British English, you know, I, I guess I should say. That's the title of the video. This is 50 differences. They show different items and just say, you know, what is this item? How, what do you call it? You know, like what we call biscuits or chips, you know, th those kinds of things and seeing 50 types of, you know, differences. And I think there's probably some similarities. Let's see what this is. I love learning about the differences between English here. You know, even, even here in Canada, there's some different words and terms from Canada to us in the US to Australia, South Africa. I'm very curious to see what this is, what the differences are and what you think it is. Cause maybe they're slightly different in parts of the UK that you say things a little differently from this video and I'll let you know if there's anything on my end from the West Coast. I don't know what the person will be from the US, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump in and see the differences. This is always fun to see. Okay, I'm gonna show you 50 things, okay? 50 different things. I just want you to tell me what you see, how you call this thing that you're looking at, okay? Starting with Play along. what you see. A purse. Play along with this too. What do you see? That's the fun part of this, so. An American starting off, I'm not gonna pause all 50, don't worry. Says a purse, we see a purse. That's a purse to us. So what do you see? And are there any differences? Do they make sense? Do ours make more sense? Do yours make more sense? I've seen not this one, but a similar one before. Yeah, they're pretty amusing. And you, you might look at our words for things and be stumped and vice versa. So that's kind of a fun thing. What do you see as well? Uh, it's a handbag, I would say. What's in her hand, the green thing? A wallet. Uh, that actually is a purse, because it carries her money. This girl has some hair on her forehead. What do you call that? Bangs. 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 Mm -hmm. fringe. fringe. Fringe, yeah, I've heard that as well. What's in the in the corner of the room? A teddy bear. What's what's the teddy bear in? A uh, crib. Yeah, a crib. A cot. cot. What's the baby wearing? The baby's wearing a diaper. We call that a nappy. Where are these children? In a nursery. Preschool? Um, yeah, what, what's another name for it? Kindergarten? Kindergarten. We yeah, don't kindergarten. say kindergarten. We say preschool or playgroup, something like that. What's this? I said, I said that. Soap? Look closer. An eraser. Uh, yeah, we call that a rubber. A rubber. Rubber? Why is that funny? A rubber? What does a rubber mean to you? Condom. So this is a school and there are boys and girls in the class. So how would you describe what kind of school this is? Co -ed. We would just say mixed. It's like a mixed school. Makes this sense. teacher, she's having a class and she wants to check that all the students are there. So she's going to do what? Take attendance. We would say she's taking the register. Do you say taking the register? No. No. Okay. No, no, no. What's Never that? heard that. Band-aid. Plaster. What's she got on her face? A zit. Or? A pimple. We say spot, a spot. Or we say spots. Like in England we say, oh, I've got a spot. Or I'd I've say. got some spots. Mm. I'd say, spot oh, on, I have spot a pimple on. or I have a zit. These people are graduating from? This is a big difference. I mean, we always say college. No one ever says, you know, where are you going to university, which is very common, it seems like, over there. And maybe Europe, I don't know, everywhere else maybe. But yeah, we say, you know, where'd you go to college? You know, college, 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 it's all that. You don't really, it's always like the university of, or, you know, for UCLA. So that's one difference that I definitely know about. College. University. Okay, so you've left university now, you get a job, and you ask your boss for more money each month. What raise. would you call that? A raise. A raise. We would say a, a pay rise. Extra bonus marks to anyone in the comments yeah. who can tell me what Steuern means. These people are on holiday. What are they? What's the name that you could give to these Another people? Another big one. Vacation. Vacationers. Vacationers. Yeah, we would say holiday makers. What's this girl lying on? A floaty. A lilo. What are these boys up to? Having drinks. Uh, I think one of them might be about to get married. Bachelor party. Mm. Yeah, we would say stag do. Stag do? Yeah, we always hear, you know, bachelor party or bachelorette party. What is stag do and where does it even come from? Stag do. Do you say like, 
I'm going on my stag do, or this is this is a stag do. I don't even know how to use that word. Something like that, I hope. I'm sorry. I'm American. And the girls? Bachelorette yeah. party. Yeah. Bachelorette party. Uh, we would say Hindu. Hindu. One place these girls might go on their Hindu is to this place. What's it called? Tenerife. Tenerife. Yeah, that's how the Spanish and Walter White says it. Tenerife? Is, is anybody, anybody here of Tenerife? But in the UK, in England, we just say Tenerife. So the hens went to Tenerife. What if the stags went to this place? Moscow. This is a Russian city. I think it's the capital. Moscow. Moscow. See, Americans say Moscow. We say Moscow. Well, you'd say cow. C-O-W, cow. Why wouldn't it be in Moscow? Get out. <laughs> the main account. That's exactly what I was thinking. But that's, I like how they do it though. Just a pause, get out. Yeah, we see cow. It's like when I try to say, you know, looking at geography, there's a video that I did and one that I'm going to come out with very soon, or it's already, I don't know. It was names of the different counties of England specifically, and then another video that I reacted to that is why, why are English names or British names stuff in the UK so difficult to say? I forget what the title of the video was, but yeah, I'm, I'm too, you know, literal, I guess. I don't know of when I say the word, you know, we say, I was just at tea the other day and someone in my party, there's Buckingham tea and they said Buckingham. We see the ham when we say that, so. Sorry, I, I did tell them, I did correct them though. I'm correcting people politely now. Account that you have your salary paid into each month, what do you call it? My checking account. We say current account. This man is wearing a vest. Waistcoat. This is what we call a vest. What do you call this? An undershirt. An undershirt, okay. What's this? A couch. Yeah, I sometimes sit on that in my vest. <laughs> we call that a settee. Settee. What's this girl getting? Shots. Shots? She's far too young for that. <laughs> she's getting a uh, she's getting a jab. She might be a meningitis jab or a tetanus. Both are jab awful. Or Both NMR jab needs a suck. Rubella. We don't say shots. These are shots. What's this guy doing? A pumpkin. Uh, <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> oh, throwing up. Or vomiting. What, and do you have another word for it? I've heard this word on The Simpsons. Barfing. Barf. Anything else? Vomit. Throwing up bath, yeah. We say chunder. Do you say chunder? We do not Ooh. say chunder. <laughs> that sounds so horrible. Chundered everywhere. <laughs> what kind of store is this? A liquor store. A liquor store. We would just call that an off license or an alcohol shop. What's happening to McLovin here? He's ID check. Carded. Carded. Does that mean you're asked to show your card? Yes. Okay, we say ID'd. You say carded. We say, we say that carded. here as well. You ID'd. Know, bring Hello. your ID. Mindy. <laughs> If you've seen the film, you will know that he does successfully get sold alcohol, and then shortly after, the shop gets um, raided, and some guy comes in, punches him in the face, and tries to take money from the... Cash register. This is a till. Cash register. What do you have stamped on the bottom of a beer can or a Coke can? Expiration, Expiration date. What does the BB stand for? Best Buy. Oh, Best, Best buy. buy, yeah. We would say Best Before. Oh. What's this? Paper towel. Kitchen roll. A place to buy these things. Makes sense. A drugstore. Drugstore. Pharmacy we don't as have well. Drugstores. We have pharmacies or chemist. For example, Boots is a chemist. Chemist. Or Saibalia in Arabic. What is this? A sandwich. Uh, it's long sub. and thin and kind of circular. A Do you sub. have a special name for oh, that? Oh, a hoagie. Hoagie. Do you really call them hoagies? We just call no. it a baguette. That's a hoagie. I mean, I would assume this is a sub. I think this person is from a specific place. I'm somewhere around the Midwest, to some specific place, or Chicago. I don't know exactly where, but. I've never heard this kind of sandwich called a hoagie in my life. And I think the mass majority of Americans would never say hoagie. It's just a specific area that they do. Hoagie. That's a hoagie, okay. What's going on here? It's being broiled. Broiled, mm. B-R-O-I-L-E-D. What, what does that mean? Broiled. We say grilled. It's, this so is it's a grill. being cooked on the top, so. Do you call this bit at the top the a red broiler. bit? Do you call it a broiler? A broiler. Yeah. We just call that a grill. What? We grill things, barbecue, we have, you know, burgers and hot dogs, stuff like that. And we go and, and, you know, any kind of meat you throw on the grill. That's kind of like a term that we use here. Throw it on the grill. And yeah, that's definitely, you know, you're, you broil it. So when I make, I don't know, something, some potato dish or baked ziti, for example, 
after it's all cooked and ready, you broil the top so the cheese cheese gets nice and, I don't know, crispy, browned, golden, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, definitely broiled on our side. What are these hanging? Drapes. Curtains. Curtains. Yeah, we say that as Subway. well. This is an underground or a tube. Certainly a tube. in London it would be called a tube. Europe it would be metro, but we don't really use the term subway. It's certainly not in the UK. Okay, so here's a question. This snow is falling, but it's too warm for the snow to stay on the road when it hits. So we could say the snow isn't... Sticking. Yeah, it's oh. not sticking. We say it's not settling. So if it snows, but it doesn't stay, it doesn't settle. I don't live where What's it this? snows, so... We call that a coach. This guy has bought a, a plane ticket. It's going to take him there and back. What do you call this kind of ticket? A round trip. Yeah. We'd call it a return. What is missing? Enter your something code and press enter. This is at the gas station or the petrol station, as we would say. The zip code. Yep. We'd call it a postcode. Which I learned What's from you guys. The punctuation at the end of this sentence. An exclamation point. Exclamation mark. And ladies. Mark. What's this? A question mark. Oh, shit. Do you call it the same thing? There it is. <laughs> question mark. <laughs> do it. What's this? Quotation marks. We say inverted commas. What's this? Colon. Colon. Yeah. So colon. So that's like a pronunciation. Thing. Oh. Colon. Colon. Right. Colon. But you still spell it O N at the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's exactly. Yeah. What's that's this? what I think. Windshield. Windshield. Yeah. We say windscreen. So this is a car, and the headlights are on. They're on their highest setting. So what do you Brights. call that? High beam. High beam. We say full beam. What's this? I say brights. Chocolate? Uh, terracotta? No, actually, it's not chocolate. Terracotta Try warrior. Again. Debris. We say debris. Oh, debris, okay. What do you okay. call the takeaway that you get from the place uh, which is called China? Takeaway? Yeah, but what's it called? Chinese. Chinese food? Chinese or Chinese. Chinese. Which, which syllable do you put the emphasis on? The Chinese I or don't the Chinese? Remember. Please answer in the comments because I'm really curious about this and. Chinese food. We go out for Chinese food. I don't know where Chinese food. That's how I say it. That's how we all say it. Getting Chinese. Chinese. Do I say it like that? I don't know. I've never heard of this, but that's. I like how it's a little different. Um, apparently, we can't come to a conclusion here. What's this? A dumpster. Skip. What Skip. road are these people driving on? Highway. Freeway. Motorway. Who are these guys? We say freeway here. Please. What's this little fella? We also say police. Ladybug. Ladybug. Ladybird. Ladybird. I like that. I, I love these kinds of things. This is so perfect. It's so fun because it, there's differences, like so many little differences like this that makes all of our countries so unique. And even how we pronounce certain ones, like Chinese food. I say Chinese food. We're getting Chinese tonight. Let me know how you guys say it. I don't know how to how you emphasize certain parts of that word. This is, I hope I wasn't talking too much. I mean, it was kind of fun for me. I kind of got into it. And I hope you did too, be saying. And, and once again, I'm sure maybe if you live in, you know, Scotland or Ireland, something like that, Wales, different parts of London even, because everything is so diverse. There's so, so, so many differences between everything it seems like you may say something's different like she said a hoagie or something for a, a sub a sandwich definitely don't say that here i've never heard anyone say that before and let me know if there's any you know differences like that where you live or some weird way someone said something let me see if there's any good comments this is this should be a good one it's, it's a fun fun video us vacationists uk holiday makers that sounds like you're you're creating a holiday for someone, you, you travel plans for, for uh, a family. You say barf, him. We say chunder. Every UK person, no we don't. We say throwing up or vomiting, okay. See like this, this is what I wanna know if there's any other ones that you heard. I hope you're you know maybe even typing as you're watching it. This is one of them as well. Yeah, we say throwing up or vomiting as well. You know, you, people don't really say barf. I mean, I've heard it many times. What do you call this? Drapes. Me as an American's. Curtains. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, some differences because I think she's from, you know, the Midwest or, or something like that. And some of these were like, I, I messed up on one of them, the passport one. It's the same kind of thing. This man is wearing a woman. Vest. Man. Waistcoat. Waistcoat. Me. Hat. That, that was like me on one or two of them. Me, German-speaking dude learning English for eight years and realizing that I speak 
a weird mixture of these dialects. You know, watches also in Germany, a lot of American films. I don't know, it'd be this weird kind of dialect. I had this one friend that, you know, has moved all over the place from South America to, to Europe at one point, actually three times to Europe and, and the US multiple times. And he has a very unique accent. It's only him, no one speaks like him. So it could be something like that. Guy, we don't use Subway in the UK. Glasgow, uh, Glasgow Subway. Am I a joke to you? Do they say Subway in Glasgow? Because that seems, uh, seem, seems like it. And this person, I use both. Yeah, I use a lot of, I don't know, maybe not a lot of them, but maybe like a third of what people in the UK use as well. Same kind of thing. So that was fun. I mean, I really like this and I think there's more of them. Different to, different types as well. I see one that's 55 differences. I think that's the little bit that I saw and I never finished it. So if you like this, I'll definitely do more. These are the kinds of things, these differences between our countries that I really enjoy hearing about and, and listening to and, you know, blows my mind sometimes of how different and sometimes similar or you say it in a different way these things are. So let me know what you thought of this video. Maybe I'll do more. I want to do another one. I'm going to probably save the other one to do in the future. And what differences you heard, how you say things, I want to I want to know it all. Get in discussion, see the see the differences between the countries and different areas even of the UK. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining and have a good good rest of your day. See you next time.